In my new Update 6 save, I've started using a system which I've called Cavity Walls. Now, the concept is very simple. Similar to how we would hide all of our resources in logistics floors, I'm currently hiding all of my power lines in these cavity walls. This keeps all of the cables that are not directly needed away from the factory floor, resulting in a much cleaner look. Yes, you can argue that hiding power underneath the floor is even cleaner, but they can be finicky to set up, and this system makes the few cables that are on show stand out as minimalist versus the sprawl of wires and power points of a usual factory. So today I'll show you how I've built this new system. And for this guide, I am using logistic floors. So beneath this factory, we'll have all of the resources that are brought up and down from the assembly line via floor holes. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is lay out the factory. We need to have the foundations down. And from there, we're going to have our logistics floor. We're going to have an extra four meters, and that's going to be uh, above that our actual assembly line floor. So let's set that up first. Oh, and before we really get into it, if you do find this helpful, uh, do drop a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Let me know your favorite tip that you see me use in this because we do use a few. And if you want to see more, obviously don't forget to subscribe. So this here is going to be the factory that we're working from. So now that we've got the walkway up, we're going to just cover this. And the important thing to note here is that we have our power just on this right hand side. This is where we're going to bring it up from in a little bit. And how you bring that up really is just down to personal preference. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. We now have the assembly floor um, ready and we also have our walkway up. So we know we're going to bring our character up through here. We've got the resources underneath here. And the next thing that we need to do is do the walk, the walls around the outside. The next thing here, now that we've got the basic outer walls done, is we're going to grab one of the road barriers. This is important. You need to unlock this in the awesome shop. And we're going to bring this, what, one meter out from the side. And from here, we're going to hold control over the barrier so that we can replace it with a wall. And then we're gonna run this wall all the way to the end. If you want, you can create a little like utility walkway uh, area behind here by grabbing one of these and just placing that there. This will allow us to walk behind and gain access to this area if we want. We're going to do the same now on this side, and we're even going to do it a little bit on this side. I'm gonna do this either side. Bring that across, really we didn't need to do that, we could just set there. And I'm going to give us a little bit of a lip across. Actually, it would be really nice if this was just white. And you can see how we're, we've got our outer walls, and then we've also got our inner walls. I'm also going to grab some metal pillars just to change it up a little bit we're going to run that to the top do the same here this just gives this wall a little bit of depth should we wish should we have power we could even go as far as to do this across here okay so that looks pretty cool we've now given our front window window a bit of depth but the real interesting thing will come once we've placed down some machinery so i'm going to very quickly do a little constructor uh, manifold just along the middle so we've now got our six constructors this is going to be a factory that produces 12 uh, rotors per minute we've done that by under uh, overclocking these to 133 percent this is the iron rods and also the casted iron screw uh, uh, recipe where we're producing 100 screws per minute with a 200% alt. So each of these are going to take the iron 
ingots through here and then it's going to split off we've got 75 on this side 60 on this side they're going to produce their resources and then the resources are going to go towards the end up through these sides i think this is just my running plan so far up to an assembler um assembly line above this which is going to be for assemblers so that you can see how this would work with assemblers as well the next thing that i want to do is focus on the power so with the cavity walls the great thing about these is that providing we have these opposite and we're going to bring it actually up to this line because we're going to do a walkway in a moment we can make sure that these are all straight across to these and then on the inside here we're going to be running all of our cable management so this is just going to keep it all tucked away and out of sight uh, other than these single leads coming out of the wall so alongside the logistics floor underneath bringing all the items up and down the cavity walls do an excellent job at keeping everything clean so that you only have what you absolutely need on the assembly floor. Now I'm going to go and work on the next floor and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so what's going on beneath? We have this bringing in what's going to be 100, let's say it was 75 plus 60. So you're looking at 135 iron ingots per minute. I mean, the math isn't really important for this, but you've got 60 going across to become rods, you've got the other 75 to become screws. Now, if we run around here, you can see how we've got the splitters and then we've got the mergers underneath and then for the screws, because we're going to have 300, we don't have four belts unlocked yet. We're going to have a second line, which is coming up to this point here and this one. A thing to point out at this point is remembering that this is a single wall and these are double we're going to want to bring our power across to one of these and if we grab the dual power um, perhaps we can the next thing that we need to do is sort out where we're going to be sending these resources now unfortunately it's not going to look as cool as i wanted it to because actually it's fine it's fine thinking about it. so here we have a shoot this is perfect for a single elevator so we're going to put one of the elevators up through there and we'll put the second one behind here but before we do that we're going to have to quickly cover this whole area and also i want to bring the power up just through yeah so the whole point of this is to hide the power behind these walls. That's exactly what we've done here. Knowing that we wanted to bring the resources up through here, we're going to quickly cover this. And we're also going to bring the rods up on this side. So we're also going to grab our conveyor floor holes here yeah and also yeah at this point i've done the next assembly line we've got the three assemblers down and we're going to do the logistics in a moment but i wanted to show you what we've done with the cavity walls here as you can see we've done the same process we're going to cover this up we're going to have to make sure that we have a place for these resources to come out we're probably going to use one of the larger doors for that which is going to feed into these three assemblers now because the assemblers are in the middle of the factory we're actually going to be using a raised cavity wall here and what we've done to pr produce this is actually use the pillars as well as the barrier technique so i'll show that just next to here so that you can see how to do it so for this we're grabbing our barrier we'll just do it here we're going to grab two of them we're going to place these walls on top and we're going to bring this up to the height that we want to to build with um, this height is actually here so we're going to place these two levels these are one meter walls and we're going to place the pillar if i can grab it 
at the same height within these. So about here. And then I fancy doing the cable with a white wall. Just gives it a little bit of decoration. Just nothing too fancy. Then from here, we obviously connect where we want our power to go. Let's just do it alongside here. And connect it to, say, the factory. We'll just use these for now. And then on the inside, we run the cable. Really simple, but a nice way to keep it all clean. And then after that, we can just remove these. Um, it looks like it's part of the factory. I actually quite like having a double one. So now I'm going to do the logistics. And we'll bring the second one here. If you don't like the clipping with this, you can just place the elevator holes there. And we're going to also connect these along with the said assemblers. Uh, elevators. So at this point, I've done the logistics and everyone, everything should run once we put some ingots in it and we will have a look. I've done a bit of clipping here with the pillar frame so that it looks a bit more supportive with all of the rotors running down into this container. We have the three assemblers here, which are fed from all of the conveyors, which are inside the walls. You can see how the rods are going to come out and along this manifold line and then above here we have the screws but the whole point is that we are hiding this all within cavity walls so the resources are now going in and we're going to have a look at the whole system as it works as you can see the logistic floor is keeping everything very clean for us so that here only the machines are running you can also see that everything is nicely tucked away and if we go outside, we may see the elevators in action. As you can see here, we have resources on the right going up. And also in a moment, you'll see some more screws going up. It's using the cavity walls are a great way to transport items in a small space whilst keeping everything very clean by hiding the power. And as you can see, everything is working very smoothly on the inside. And last but not least, we have the rotors going along and heading into the storage. Now, I hope you enjoyed this guide. It was a little bit different because I've done this all off the huff on the go. Uh, if you did find this useful, if you find this easier to understand, harder to understand, please do let me know in the comment section below so that I can better do this next time. Um, it's a little bit experimental. But guys, also, if you're going to use these cavity walls, do let me know. And thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all of our amazing supporters. Most notably our Solar Clips Patreons, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin, Firefless and Jerry2, as well as the Lunas, Dixie Chris, Ben and the Calamity, as well as today's Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Dashlom. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.